What is up guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, it's week two of Eternal Evolution and we are progressing hugely in the game. Um, so I have this handy little spreadsheet with some notes so you can compare where we were and where we are now. I'm gonna be going through all the content to sort of see how we're progressing, give as many of tricks and tips as I can to help you guys. And also we'll be looking at our heroes as well, which is probably the funnest part and check out the builds as well. So uh, for campaign, we were at 1321, we've gone to 1821. So we've jumped five uh, chapters in the game. So night progressing nicely. Um, I did re-gear my champions last night. So we've probably increased our um, power level by 50K. So we've gone from 250K to 300K. So I might be able to uh, clear this now, um, but we are starting to hit a few roadblocks now. Things are starting to slow down a little bit, just like any gotcha game you play, you know, they do they do slow down. So heroes, um, so this is currently what we're rolling with. I'm just gonna bring up an, uh, last week's screenshot just so we can compare. So you can see the highest level champion was 130 and the lowest was 119. And then for the Evolve, you can see the highest we got was um, Mythical with two diamonds just take that away. So now where highest level is 150 and the lowest is 139. So the highest has jumped up by 20 and the lowest has also jumped up by 20. So that's nice. Uh, and then we can see that we've actually got um, a legendary, two legendary evolved, or actually four. But um, yeah, these two are like more the ones I use more, 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 more. They're the ones I use more often. So let's check out the builds. Uh, Carmore has a pretty sick build. Actually, let's just minimize that spreadsheet. So, um, you know, we can see we've got uh, four pieces of crit rate, two pieces of attack gear, 3.6k attack, 36 uh, crit rate, and then 44 crit damage. Nice. Uh, Leo, um, we've got him in the Gorious set, uh, four pieces, and then... 164k uh, HP and you know with the gloves we, we've got a broken set I would personally choose the HP uh, percentage having a broken set um, I don't think I've got any Vigorious set otherwise for that um, Oak he's also in four pieces Vigorious 186k HP and then 25% uh, uh, damage reduction as well really really nice then we've got Bot Mark II, who's a hard carry for me. Um, 5.5k attack, huge. 47% uh, crit rate and then 26% crit damage. Um, so we've got two pieces crit rate, two pieces attack, and then um, two pieces crit damage as well. And then Randall. Randall's one of my favorite champions. Do not sleep on this guy. I slept on him. Um, he's an absolute beast and higher damage dealing assassin. Like any assassin, though, I guess, you'd always expect an assassin to hit hard. And he's in four pieces of overload and two pieces of sun signet. So that's crit rate and crit damage. So 3.8k uh, attack, 42% crit rate, and then 43 crit damage. But yeah, he's an absolute boss. Do not sleep on him like I did. So next, we are going to look at um, our guild. Just quickly look at the guild. Um, so for the guild, um, you know, this is a new server. Um, so we're the highest ranked server uh, guild on the server, and we're only level three. So level four coming soon. Uh, but the guild technology opened up for me, and this is huge. This is massively going to bump up stats on our heroes. First off, I started off with uh, tanks. Because um, obviously they're going to be taking all the damage. They're going to be up front. So want them to have some decent survivability. So taking HP, uh, taking defense. And we should also be taking um, crit damage reduction as well. That's going to help us a lot. They don't need attack. They don't really need uh, crit damage. You can avoid that for now. Uh, Vanguard, because I've got a Leo, I should focus on this a little bit more. 
um, take away he doesn't need attack he just needs defense and hp um, then like assassins hunters uh, energy champions would be like the next ones i focus on and for them we want to be taking um, attack and crit damage again this is massively going to bump up our damage but probably focus on attack a little bit more for now just because uh, we're not going to have like a hundred percent crit rate so the crit damage isn't going to benefit us as much as attack where we're quite a low level account take a little bit of hp as well because we need that survivability you know um no damage dealers good your nukes can't do anything if they're dead so yeah give them a little bit of survivability uh, but yeah nothing else going in the shop if we come back uh, command post not much has actually happened here and um, we had three uh, mythical uh, commanders now we've got a whole bunch more but other than that it's not like a huge level of progression it is nice to have dupes though um because obviously we can use that for arena and also um, other content where you need more than one team and then the prototypes so prototypes have jumped up massively um i think we only had like let's see so here i think we only had like one epic so now we've got four epics and a myth uh, epics elite so i'm so used to where in other games purples epics uh, so yeah we've got four elites now uh one mythical uh, and this has jumped up from one rare to two um elites as well and then we've got a mythical here from one rare as well so that's really nice starting to pad that out a little bit but everything else is pretty much the same recruitment oh my god i've been stacking these so um this week i will be dropping a video of this doing doing some pulls um, but yeah just been saving these because there is an event coming up and we've got a whole bunch of data chips saved up and there's double data chips this week as well so that's why we've been saving up um yeah but that will massively again it's going to bump us up we're going to get a whole bunch of food and also hopefully just some new heroes to play with as well um and then yeah that's pretty much everything here let's just come back out uh, virtual training room um we're beating the first stage quite comfortably i'll drop a video on this so you guys can learn how to get a 10 out of 10 on that because it is quite it is hard like i do have to stop and think sometimes and there's a little bit of luck involved as well but um yeah it's a bit like poker you know you never know what hand you're gonna get dealt but you've got to make the best that you can but yeah we'll drop a video on that so yeah let's come to the dungeons so um Sinsaro's Marsh, um, we were on level five, we've jumped up to level seven. I feel like I should be able to uh, get through this now. And I've got a huge tip for you guys. This is like the biggest tip that I had like in a real epiphany last night. So um, in other games I play, your heroes, when you put gear on them, it's fixed. And you put gear on them and it's it just it just stays there. You can't do anything with it. In this game, there's the freedom of being able to just swap gear. So what I would do, so let's just go back to our heroes, is, so Carmore, he's not the best built champion um, on the account, bot mark two, but say, pretend it's bot mark two, I would unquip all this gear, go onto another champion. So for Sin, um, Sinsaro's Marsh, you need energy champions. So I'd probably bring in two energy champions and what, or maybe even three if you want. But yeah, and basically unquipped all the gear on these champions, on my damage dealers. Go on to an energy champion, unquipped all their gear, and then just auto equipped, and then go into Cesaro's Marsh. And yeah, and then you should be able to progress a lot faster. I wish I thought of that sooner, because that is just a huge way to progress a lot faster in the early game, because obviously you're sort of limited to the gear that you have on your account so that would definitely help speed things up a lot um and yeah i just can't believe i didn't think of it sooner um so dessa's cave or sorry Desa's cave sorry we've gone from stage six to eight so not massive progression but this is the dungeon that i want to focus on the most uh, because it's where you can get gear from and i don't know if that will change later in the game but gear in general is the most important thing in any gacha game um gear will just carry you massively so yeah definitely want to focus this out of all the, the all the dungeons this is the most important one 
and yeah terra dome yeah sorry and also going back to this we're getting more mythical gear but if we i don't know if it showed yeah so stage 10 we can start to get some legendary gear which would be super super nice sort of sort of rainbow gear rainbow barrier border um going on yeah so really need to try and push we need to push for that fast so terra dome um we've gone from we were stuck on stage three for a while and now we're on six so that's quite a big level of progression um but yeah and i will be dropping videos in all of these dungeons as well to help you guys uh to progress in that and let's just come out so just looking at all of these um not much really to say on all of them i guess ancient altar we we've gone from novice to normal a clear novel novice and easy quite comfortably to be honest uh, but now we need to start focusing on normal uh, arena there's not much to say about it you know you sort of it's quite easy you know we're cherry picking our fights we've gone from rank 50 to 41 um yeah there's not much to talk about that uh, galactic arena has been a massive jump from we've gone to diamond three um, i can't remember where i was but we we're nowhere near that and then hell arena we've just gone into junior fight fighter but yeah not not too much going on in arena to be honest at the moment uh wastelands and rifts that you know they're, they're pretty easy don't really want to touch on those uh soul mine uh we're 181 and we were 148 so that has been like a massive massive jump and that's pretty much it i can't think of anything else but yeah we should be hopefully unlocking uh crimson abyss soon really want to do that uh i don't really know what what this is all about but looking forward to unlocking it and just uh, progressing a little bit further in the game so yeah that's pretty much the end of the video guys make sure you stick around for week three hopefully we should be progressing hell of a lot more but yeah that's pretty much it please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll catch you all in a video soon peace